this first day of October, let us gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus, the love of his Father, the power and wisdom of the Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. As we gather together, let us take a few moments preparing ourselves to listen to God's word, to celebrate our Lord's very presence in the sacrament by acknowledging our sins as we ask our Lord's pardon and peace. You came to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth peace to people, people of goodwill. Will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O oh God, who manifests your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. This we pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, you say, the Lord's way is not fair. Hear now, house of Israel, is it my way that is unfair? Or rather, are not your ways unfair? When someone virtuous turns away from virtue to commit iniquity and dies, it is because of the iniquity he committed that he must die. But if he turns from the wickedness he has committed and does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life, since he has turned away from all the sins that he has committed. He shall surely live, he shall not die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember, Remember your, your mercies, mercies O Lord. Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Remember, Remember your, your mercies, mercies, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your love are from of old. The sins of my youth and my frailties remember not. In your kindness remember me, because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember, Remember your, your mercies, mercies O Lord. Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice and teaches the humble his way. Remember, Remember your, your mercies, mercies, O Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind with the same love, united at heart, thinking one thing. Do nothing out of selfishness or out of vainglory. Rather, humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interests, but also for those of others. 
have in you the same attitude that is also in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. And may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, you, to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and elders of the people, What is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. And the son said in reply, well, I will not. But afterwards changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. And he said, yes, sir, but did not go. Which of these two did his father's will? They answered the first. And Jesus said to them, amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Years ago, and at my age, I can remember what happened years ago, and I can't remember what happened yesterday, but that's another story. Years ago, when I worked at the treatment center for wounded kids, I started to coach uh, the young guys in basketball. It allowed me to get away from the business office, and quite frankly, it kept me grounded in my work and what my ministry was all about. Now, in this type of work, kids come in and out of your life. And there are a few that have impacted my life and ministry in very unique ways. Sam played on one of those teams that I coached, and we had just lost a very tight game. After congratulating the other team, which in itself it was an experience at times, we headed up to the rec room to kind of debrief. Well, on the way up the stairs, Sam had a, an emotional meltdown. He went into a, re, a rage, a, a complete and utter meltdown. Well, the staff got the other kids back to their houses and the safety, and a few of us stayed to try to deal with what was going on with Sam. Well, he was eventually able to articulate what had happened. You see, he had taken the last shot, and he had missed it. And one of his teammates on the way out of the gymnasium to the rec room had muttered loud enough for mm -hmm. him to hear, I should have known, it never changes. He always misses. Now, the irony of it, Sam was our best shooter on the team. You have to stand, these kids that come to us, they have pretty thick skins as a defense mechanism for the lives they have to lead up to this point. And even at the center, other kids there will try to bait one another to set them off. Well, after a while, it finally came out, and Sam was able to articulate what had happened. 
you'll never change, was the last thing he had heard from his father as he was being taken away. His teammates' comment in a moment of frustration exposed that old wound. You'll never change. He felt, Sam felt this defined his future. In the gospel today, we are given a profound lesson in the way of God's thinking. We are not to be judged by only our worst moments. It matters not as much as what we failed at, and what, but what we do after we fail. What we have done and what we have failed to do is not as crucial as what we chose to be from this point forward. Forget yesterday. What's on the agenda for today? Paul, in the letter to the Philippians, speaks about this choice today. That Christ made a radical choice in becoming human. Christ chose to leave the glory of heaven to enter our story as a man. He chose to humble himself, even accepting death on the cross. For Jesus, there was never a lost cause or a person beyond help. He didn't just spend time with the poor and broken of his society. He offered them a new way of life, a new opportunity to start again, a redemption from their destructive behavior. He went to where they were, as they were. Jesus called his disciples, those closest to him, because they were examples of human foibles. They were slow to learn. They were selfish. They fought among themselves. And yet they changed. For Sam, it would not be easy. He had to work at accepting of being accepted by others, of believing in other people. And that was made possible by the community, the staff that surrounded him. A community that did not dwell on his mistakes from the past, but the good choices he made now. What truly was remarkable about him is he demonstrated a phenomenal empathy towards others who are struggling. It's never too late to start over, to do our best, to live out the faith that we profess. And the best way to do that is given to us by Paul today. Do nothing out of selfishness or vainglory, each looking out not for his own interest, but also for those of others. To the glory of God our Father. So now, with confidence, we take a few moments to place our prayers, our needs before our Heavenly Father. For the church, for humble hearts committed to the Father's will, Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our president and members of Congress, for leadership and laws that defend the common good, Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who work the land, for an abundant harvest. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who gather at the table for healing and hope, Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. I'd like also to pray for those young people who have been in care of our church, trying to give them an opportunities for new life. We also keep in our prayers all those prayer intentions and requests that you have sent us in this past week. We lift those up to our Lord today as we pray. Dear Father, listen to our prayers. Look into our hearts to see those prayers that we hold for others. We ask that in your great love and your great mercy, answer them as you promised to answer all that we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Please pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be pleasing and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of his name, name for, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us. And this we pray to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with the angels and saints, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we join in that hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come, come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this bread of life, this chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And Father, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and the bishops of our diocese. Remember also our brothers and sisters, all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them 
into the light of your face. And have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through Jesus Christ, your Son. For through him, with him, in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Father, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the peace of our Lord be with you always and with, with your, your spirit. spirit now at the treatment center this was the longest part of math because all the young people wanted to give everyone a sign of peace and so if there is someone with you maybe you are in a care home you might be with family members you might also be in a, a treatment center or in prison turn to somebody and let's offer them some sign of christ's peace This bread which we break today, it is the body of Christ, broken and divided so that we may all live as one. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, grant us, us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy that you, that you should enter under my roof, but only, only say, say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body so that we may be co-heirs to the glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death. He who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Once again, uh, we thank you for letting us be part of uh, your Sunday morning worship. Uh, again, it always helps to get uh, notes because it reminds me of who is praying with us on this day, those who are shut-ins, uh, those who are in prison. And so we keep your prayers, your thoughts in our prayer jar here as we go forward every day remembering members of our community. And so may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God's blessing come upon you this day. May he look upon you kindly, giving you his peace. May the blessing of Almighty God descend upon you, remaining with you forever, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And because I forgot to do it, I have to remind you where to send all this information. It's Catholic TV Mass, 1 St. Vincent's Drive, San Rafael, California, 94903. Or, as always, you can go on the, the website, fatherharried.org. And uh, one more thing I'm... Uh, Praying for my parishioners, we just had the big festival this weekend. So if Sunday is a day of rest, there's no festival, but they all have to show up at 12 o'clock to clean the area. Um, yeah, we kind of go against a day of rest after a <laughs> festival. Let us go in peace now to love, to serve our Lord as we love and serve one another. Thanks be to God. Now, and God bless you all and have a wonderful week. Till next time. May God hold you in the palm of his hands.